Okay, so let's take it a little bit of a closer look at what is going on in the liver during the fed state. So glucose is going to enter the liver cell through either GLUT1 or GLUT2. There's some redundancy in there. Important to point out though that neither of these glucose transporters are insulin dependent. So they're always going to be there. So glucose has entered. We've undergone our step with glucokinase so that we've added a phosphate to this glucose. And so now that glucose is trapped inside the cell in its glucose 6-phosphate form. From there, um, in the presence of insulin, because we're in the fed state, that is going to cause that glucose 6-phosphate to undergo a few rearrangements to become something called primed glucose. And primed glucose can then undergo a chemical reaction that is uh, catalyzed by the enzyme glycogen synthase in order to take that primed glucose and bind it together to form glycogen. So glycogen, so glycogen synthase is the enzyme that is responsible for making glycogen, for the process of glycogenesis. Insulin is going to be stimulating the enzyme glycogen synthase in order to stimulate glycogenesis and take this primed, this primed glucose and turn it into glycogen. Now, something else that's important to point out here is that the process of glycogenesis uh, requires an ATP investment. So glycogen synthase requires and uses up ATP in the process of building glycogen. So that is one of the reasons that it is an anabolic uh, reaction. It requires ATP, it's a building reaction. Now let's take a look at what happens to the galactose in the liver. Because remember I told you that the liver is going to keep all of the galactose that we absorbed from our meal. So first of all, galactose is going to enter the liver through either GLUT1 or GLUT2, just like glucose. So here we have galactose in its nice green color. From there, galactose is, under gonna go, is going to undergo a similar step um, with galactokinase, another enzyme that's gonna add a phosphate group in order to trap galactose inside the cell. Exact same process. From there, that galactose 1-phosphate can undergo many rearrangements in order to become primed glucose. And that primed glucose can be um, used by glycogen synthase to form it into glycogen. So again, um, it'll be the same process of glycogenesis that is being stimulated by insulin. And of course, we have insulin presence because we are in the fed state. Um, so overall, the, the take home message here is that the galactose that we get from our diet is is gonna to go to the liver and ultimately become glycogen for the most part. So galactose becomes glycogen.